Remember this game? How about this game? Mechas Hot 1 and 2 were one of the original Xbox exclusives that probably got a lot of people into mechs. If you were a smooth brain person like me, looking at these screenshots from the MechWarrior games would probably give you a headache. So the Mechasaw games were an entry level and beginner friendly way to get people into the Battletech universe. Now there are two games, but where is the third one? The third was cancelled with only some concept art being revealed, there was no demo or anything. It was supposed to be an exclusive for the Xbox 360, but as you know, that never happened. Until now, kind of. Introducing Mechasaw Wolves, we finally have an unofficial third game. Now of course, this isn't related to the first two games, but Mechasaw Wolves is just as awesome, especially for a fan-made game. Made by the passionate developers of New Day Fiction, Mechasaw fans finally have something to look forward to. The game has been in development for 6 years so far and is still going, but has made good progress throughout the years. The game has come a long way when you compare the first public demo to what we have now. Development may seem slow at first, but when you consider that the game is made entirely from original assets, it's understandable. This is something that should make you even more excited as you can see that a lot of effort is being put into this game. Let's talk about the gameplay. There is an option for multiplayer but as of right now it is still in development. The single player mode on the other hand is functional with players able to choose between 3 different maps and 9 different mechs at the time of recording this video. The gameplay is solid with all the mechs and weapons functioning normally, good enough for fans to enjoy playing it. The mechs don't have any abilities yet but that should be added later throughout development. There are a couple of audio issues and some missing sound effects but I'm pretty sure that will all be ironed out on the full release of this game. Keep in mind that this game is still in its early stages of development so don't expect a perfect game. Like I said earlier there are 3 maps to choose from, players can play on Ill Fortune, Terror City, or Anointed. They're all a work in progress but they are functional and fun to play on. My favorite map personally is Anointed because I like the arena look that it has to it. The design fully takes advantage of mechs with jump jets making it more balanced when going up against heavier mechs like the Atlas. When playing the game, I can't help but notice how beautiful the graphics are. The graphics are stunning and it is exactly how I imagined Mechasaw would look like in my head. The mechs look fantastic and I just want to give the artist props for the detail and hard work that they put into this. The game allows you to customize your own mech, you can change the colors of your mech by using the scales, and you can also change the colors of the glowing lights. Some mechs also come with different skins, adding another layer to the customization. It's very basic but it's a lot better than what we got with the two original Mech Assault games. At the time of recording this video, this version of the game is only Wave 2. The developers are working on the Wave 3 update which brings in more mechs like the Puma, Uzio, Mad Cat, and the legendary Ragnarok. So yeah, I'm super excited to see how this fan game turns out because everything looks promising so far. It sure has a long way to go, but from what I can see, the devs look like they know what they're doing, so I'm not worried at all. Anyways, that's gonna be it for today's video. What are your thoughts on this game? Leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed watching, make sure to like and subscribe for more content. Thank you and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.